Welcome to the first video tutorial in quite a while and in this video tutorial I want to demonstrate the new skin and bone related features of Model Converter X. Um, I'll first give a quick introduction to what skin and bone animations are uh, then we'll dive into more details of how you can inspect them and visualize them in Model Converter X and finally I will say something about the jetway animations as well which are a special kind of skin and bone animations so what's skin and bone animation um, here you see a simple box and if you would traditionally animate it you could translate or rotate this box as a whole so you can move it around and rotate it um, that's maybe okay if you want to have a rotating radar uh, or something like that as an animation but if you want to have more complex kind of animations like uh, human figures maneuvering or so uh, then that's not sufficient and that's where the skin and bone animations come in because if we look at this object it's divided in two parts and if we add the bones which are displayed here in white we see it has two bones and now we can just let this object follow the bones so here we actually have the bones that are animated and they are making a rotating movement now and the red box which is the skin sticks to those bones and follows the movement of the bones uh, you probably see where the names come where the name comes from because it's yeah similar to how the human body the skeleton is moving and your skin uh, is attached to your to your bones basically and follows their movement and as you can see here if we turn it back to the normal mode you can see you can get much more realistic movements we get a bending box in this case which is doing a kind of swinging movement uh, which wouldn't be possible with normal uh, animations so let's move to a slightly more complex object uh, to show you a bit more what you can do with uh, bones, skin and bone animations in Model Converter X. Here I've loaded the default character from one of the Microsoft uh, libraries. I think this is the person who got stuck on the oil rig in one of the missions. Um, and let's have a look how we can sort of inspect this object in Model Converter X. Uh, one of the changes, you probably already saw that I toggled it, is that you can now control whether the bones are displayed or not. And the bones are displayed through uh, the other ge geometry because normally they're inside, so else you wouldn't see them. And compared to the simple box I had before, you can see this is a much more complex bone system where you have bones for the legs, the arms, the head, uh, the body, and some bone connecting to the ground, probably to make sure that his animation stays on the ground. Okay, and well, let's just get him moving. And you see these bones are animated again, and the skin is following the bones, which results in a quite nice movement, uh, which would wouldn't be possible to achieve otherwise with traditional animation techniques. So how do we tell uh, the skin? like the geometry to follow these bones uh, that's done by assigning a weight um, to each vertex so each vertex has sort of a weight that tells it you how m how much it is influenced by a certain bone so if we let's pause the animation a bit here but we see here like the the elbow which is now bended uh, vertices in here will probably be affected by those two bones so when they make movements the vertices will follow it um, well maybe a, a vertex here in the middle of the arm will only follow this bone so you can have a vertex being influenced by different bones and as a result of that yeah, you get blending between the different movements of the different bones so how are we going to look at that um, let's first have a look at the hierarchy editor um, as you probably know this is where you can see like the model parts and the scene graph nodes and see the structure of your model and what's new now is that you can also see bones in here so we can click on the bone let me just 
try to find one. Oh, here we have one in the knee of our man. Um, and if we inspect this bone, well you can see it has some transformation, it has an animation, and it has an index. And this index you will see back here in the model part, where it lists like this part. Actually, this man only has one uh, drawer hole, only one model part. But you can see by which different bones the skin is influenced. And for in this case, it's all of the bones of the model, of course. But you might have a model where you have different model parts being influenced by different bones. And by inspecting, let me see where we had his knee before. Um, we can see the structure here of the bones. But we can't see the weights that I was talking about. We can't see how much each vertex is influenced by each bone. So to have a look at that, there's another new feature in Model Converter X, which is called the skin in uh, the, the weight inspection render mode, which is here with the icon of the little weight. And if you press that, uh, the texture will not be used to visualize the model, but instead the colors will reflect the weight of the different sort of skin elements. And basically, yeah, the more red it is, it's influenced by one bone primarily, and if you see other colors, those parts are influenced by multiple bones. In this way, it's not the most useful picture, but if you combine it with what you can do in the hierarchy editor here, then we can select an individual bone. For example, I select the knee again, and now we see which part of the geometry is following that bone. So as we see here, like this is probably the lower leg bone from the knee till the ankle, and it influences yeah, the lower part of the leg, as you would expect. And you also see that here around the knee itself, it's less red, so which means that it's not only following this bone, but most likely also the bone above it. So if we select that one, you'll see that the upper leg bone indeed also partly influenced the knee area. So the knee is sort of a blend between those two bones. And this way we can sort of go over all the bones and see which part of the geometry they influence. And here you see, for example, I've selected a sh part of the shoulder and the color is much less red, which kind of indicates that there are multiple bones affecting this part. Um, so that's what we can do with a skin and bone animation. You can load it in Model Converter X, you can inspect how the bones are uh, defined in the model, you can inspect the the weight of the different vertices and how they stick to the bones. Um, this information is shown when you render the model and if you would save the model this information is kept again. In the past Model Converter X would remove all these skin and bone animations and all the related information but now if you export the model it will keep this information. Then there's one other type of um, skin and bone animation I want to talk about but for that we have to load another model again which is the jetway animations. These are animations that are a bit different but they also use the skin and bone techniques and in this case Actually, there is no animation in the model. I can move my slider here, and the jetway is just not moving. That's because this animation is not defined in the model, but the model contains the inf information that the engine needs to create this jetway animation during the game, at runtime. And that's needed because this animation will automatically go to the position of the door of your aircraft. So if you have a different aircraft, the animation will need to end up somewhere else. A different uh, distance, maybe the ga gate needs to be extended and it needs to be rotated in a different direction. Um, so that's not a predefined animation, but the model does contain information that helps the engine to make the animation. So let's go to the hierarchy editor again. And oh, we'll see the bones as before. I'll try to rotate it a little bit. Um, uh, I should turn on the display of the bones, of course. You see here, there's also kind of skeleton in here. Bones through the gate, 
all the way to the moving head to the aircraft and there's a set of bones going to the ground to make sure that part goes okay um, and if I move through them you'll see yeah they're all sort of connected and moving to each other so let's pick one of those bones I'll pick this one here in the middle which is probably the bone for this extending part and if I now look in the hierarchy editor we'll see two uh, new blocks of information there which are iKey constraints and iKey change iKey stands for inverse kinematics and that's the kind of animation this is it's an inverse kinematic animation and you can see here that there are constraints on this bone so these constraints tell the engine what kind of movement this bone can do and as we can see here this is part of the extension of the gate so all of the rotations are not active so they can't rotate and it can translate in one direction and then it also is limited and the boundaries are specified here so it's between 2 and 12 meters that this part can extend and if we go to the next one which is also a part of the extension you'll see it's a similar uh, similar setup and the next bone is here for the head then we can see that there's no translations but we have a rotation so you can see here that the IK constraints are stored in the model and that information can be used uh, by FSX to render the right jetway another thing that you see is that there are IK change with specific names um, these names are predefined in the SDK and that's what the rendering engine uses to to find sort of the parts that it can animate and you can see here that sort of the bones that make the first part of the of the jetway all have the Ike main handle then the head of the jetway has the Ike secondary handle for the, the rotating uh, part it can do there and the set of bones that are related here with the connection to the ground do have the wheels ground lock handle so you can load your jetway model for example if you try to make a custom jetway in model converter x and you can inspect if all the constraints and if all the i key change are defined correctly and then when you export the model again this information just like the skin and bone animations is kept the jetway also has as I, you can see here as weights assigned so different part of the geometry are connected to different bones so that you get the correct uh, animation of the geometry so I hope this uh, video tutorial made it a little bit more clear what you can do with this new feature how you can visualize and inspect models that use skin and bone animations or even inverse kinematic animations um, I hope this has been a useful video tutorial if you have any other questions feel free to post them on the model converter x forum on the FS developer website thank you for watching